Hey everybody, Danny Mod here. Thanks for joining us. How often do you find yourself on the fairway after a pretty good drive and then you duff your second shot along the ground? It's so frustrating, isn't it? Well, often it's because the swing is too handsy or too armsy. It creates this kind of flicky strike. You've got to learn how the body works in conjunction with your hands and your arms. And today I've got a wonderful drill that will help you feel just that. My students absolutely love it and I'm sure you will do too. So before I get into the video, look, if you're new to the channel, it's one of your first videos of mine, please consider subscribing. Just press that little bell button, next subscribe button, you get notified every time I release a video just like this one. Plus, I've got a free downloadable practice plan in the description box below so you never have to remember a thing. Great, so let's start to help you strike that ball with your iron so, so much better. So here's, here's what we've got to do. Now there are two types of golfers. I don't know what you are, which where you sit, but I often find that there's the golfer that kind of have this lovely flowing armsy, wristy swing, which kind of looks nice, but because they're not using really much body or coordinating the body, it can often strike a ball now and then, but then every so often flicks it, fats it, thins it along the ground. So it's inconsistent. Alternatively, you've got the golfer who's maybe trying really hard to get it right. They're very stiff here. They're trying to get into the right positions each and every single time. But because in sense it's stiff, it's impossible to coordinate. That then causes its issues too. So how do you get this lovely flowing swing yeah, whilst at the same time coordinating it? Well, all you've got to do, you've got to learn to feel how the body works with the club. Or another way of looking at it is how the body guides this club naturally through different positions, through the position where eventually, look, watch this, the club works up, we work it naturally back down so the eventually impact, the pressure's on the lead side here, the handle is ahead, and we strike that ball first every single time. Well, here's a wonderful drill that you can try straight away to help you feel this motion. All I want you to do is this. You get yourself into a posture position here, take your club in your lead hand, just put it up like this, okay? So your lead hand's on top, and then take your right hand, we're gonna split the hands, okay? Now splitting the hands, the reason why we do this is because this hand we're gonna call the body hand. This, is helps, this hand helps to feel how the body works. This hand, because it's separated, kinda helps to feel, help you feel what the club is doing. Now all I want you to do now is this. From this position, I want you to sense that you're gonna push down with your lead hand, and then this trail hand is almost gonna work like this. The palm is gonna work up to the sky. So watch this. Push down with your lead and imagine the palm or the trail hand here is working to the sky uh, with your, your backhand. Now from here, watch this. Look how my body's working where? Up and down. Now from here, watch this. On the way through, how am I going to square this club face? I'm simply going to sit, uh, look how my body then spirals back up again here bang to strike the ball. Now that naturally then creates this handle ahead without me even trying. So you see how correct motion of the body naturally, look, gets that club striking the ball absolutely spot on without me trying. Here's what I see too often. You've got your handle draggers where they get here and they drive the handle forward, yeah? When you get the handle driven forward independently, look, well now we have to flick the hands at the end, which causes the fat shot. Or you might be the type of person who literally is too armsy, and now it's very independent. Now suddenly you might drive it and then sometimes strike it, or you might flick it. But either way, neither is gonna give you the consistency. So. You've got to learn to kind of sense this. So what I like to do first of all, my students love this, is get your hands split, okay? Get yourself set here, get yourself set up, and then what we do is this, we play a few small shots. Sometimes it's not even hitting a golf ball, sometimes it's just literally rehearsing. So pushing down, back just to about here, and then feel what does my body need to do now to strike the ball? Well, I could drive my hands, no, we're gonna use the body, look, the body spirals where? Upwards. Look at this butt end, it goes up as the handle releases down, look at this. But here goes up and the handle down. Bang, bang. Look how the body's naturally creating this. I'm not just using my body independently. It's all working perfectly with the golf club. We start really small with this initially. Get ourselves set, split the hands just there. And then what we do is we go, okay, let's see if we can just play a small shot from here. Just hit a few shots like that, where you get the sensation of, that's your head, the club end, that's your body, just from there, bang, bang, 
not flicking, not driving, using my body, look, my body extends to release the club. The body extends up to release the club, learning that sensation just there. Now that's beautiful for those two. Once you've got that sensation, what I then want you to do is start to naturally extend it. Now some of this, by the way, I do not want you to be necessarily hitting loads of golf balls. This is something that you can train at home. Get, I find one of my mistakes in my early days and some of my students, hitting golf balls, it can get in the way of this motion. You can, you know, you can get so natural instinct to hit at the ball. Whereas if you can just learn the feeling and train the motion of the body, okay, you can start to learn the sensations of how that body is gonna work. Once you do that, you can then obviously introduce the golf ball. But what we'll do, we'll speed this process up. We're gonna now start to extend this motion. So rather than just from here, I'm gonna go a bit further. Now watch this. I'm gonna push down a bit further and my palms gradually look working its way to the sky, yeah? Down here, working its way to the sky. Let's do it a little bit further. So back to about here and then through. Now, brilliant. I thin that one now, there. Now, as I said, I have my own faults now and then. One of my personal faults is I slide, yeah? Now, if I slide, what's that doing? Well, that's not gonna get the club working back to the golf ball, is it? So suddenly I slide, I get into the handle drag position, and I have to flick. So this is a great move for me too. So I get a self set, push it back a bit further. There we go, and then watch this from here, look. Use the body to square the fist. The handle goes where? Up and left to release the club down towards that golf ball. We don't drive, we don't flick. One more of them, push it back. Much, much better, much better strike. Now clearly what you then do, once you've got that sensation, just from a small shot to start with, bring your hands closer together here and start to kind of merge these two things together. You could start from a standing place, you could just start from here if you wanted initially, that's probably the best place to start. Push back with your lead hand, palms working to the sky, and then away you go. Beautifully struck there, look ball turf, and then clearly you can see where this is going. All we're gonna do is we're gonna gradually look, work this up into a fuller and fuller golf swing. But this, for when you're starting, will be way too quickly. Don't rush into this. You know, this is a lifetime skill. If you can learn this simple motion, do it at home, do it on the practice ground, don't rush into hitting big, big shots, because if you rush into big shots, your instinct takes over, the old armsy swing will come in, your body swing comes in. Me personally, I'm getting back into the game myself, I'm getting back into playing. You know, I know that I drive a little bit forward with my handle, and I've got to work on this, so I'm starting small, and then gradually, look, I get bigger and bigger, but working here, look, pushing it up, and then look, driving that down. Let's have a look at this again. Start here, work it up, work it down. Beautiful ball turf strike. Start to get that sensation. If you want a great visual here, you can also use a, an alignment stick here, which works very, very nicely just as a visual. Lead hand on top, right hand underneath here, look. Get yourself set, push down here. Look at that, there's points to the ground, palm up to the sky. This is what a lot of people do. This is what I might do personally, or the, or the better players. They drive in trouble here, flick. Poor players are the, the guys who kind of, if you, if you flick it, this is this motion, that's gonna hit your side. So you're driving here, look. Look at how my body extends upwards. The butt end goes upwards as the club gets fired down. That's what releases the, the club, the whole body and the club working together. So really, really hope you uh, enjoy this video. Do me a favor though, with it, Start really small. You know, get the sensation of how the body and the club work first. Start small, hit a few uh, shots, then gradually build it up. Sometimes, you know what, don't even hit shots. Just learn the sensation of how this body works. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, maybe share it with one of your friends, and of course, look, there's a free downloadable practice plan in the description box below so you never have to remember a thing. Of course, look, if you're new to the channel, some of your first videos of mine, please consider subscribing by pressing that bell button so I can give you some more content just like this one. But until next week, have a great golfing week.